Really, right now. You come out right now to saw things up. Making YouTube videos is hard, kids. Greetings fellow mountain bike enthusiasts and welcome back and welcome to episode two of Nerds on Dirt, Nerding Out. Today's episode, a tale of two remedies and why I have two remedies. Ridiculous, right? I know. But bear with me, there's a reason. So as many of you know, uh, I was racing enduro last season, I did a full season of enduro. Um, click up here to uh, watch some of those races. Um, and it was fun. I was really glad I did it. Uh, I'm not good at enduro. If you've watched any of my videos, you can clearly see that. But I would recommend, if you haven't tried it, give it a try. It really helped me push my riding a little bit more every race. So definitely, I would check it out. Now that the season's over and I've decided that I want to actually ride with my friends more this year and film more locations and race, and with the coronavirus, which is how we're making this video today. Um, basically, you know, there's not going to be a lot of racing this year. And for the winter, I had purchased and built up a, a hardtail uh, for winter riding. PNW winters are pretty wet and they're pretty rough on suspension and that sort of thing. So, you know, I wanted a simple hardtail. Well, believe it or not, I'm old and this body is not made for hardtails. After a few rides, it uh, it was pretty clear that I need a full suspension bike. So I ended up selling the hardtail and I got this Remedy 8. Granted it's not in this current configuration but I got this Remedy 8 for nasty winter riding. Aluminum frame, a little bit more inexpensive build, you know, stuff that I wasn't gonna, you know, be terribly upset about if the mud just ground it to nothing. Well it turns out that I really, really like this bike. I had one of the first generation or the last generation remedies and it was a really great bike and I actually sold it so I could get my Slash uh, to go racing because everybody was on 29ers. I mean, even Sam Hill went to a 29er. So for racing, 29er is the way to go. But I started riding this thing again and I've just been finding that it was so much fun. I was reaching for this bike more than I was reaching for the Slash. And I decided that I like this bike so damn much, it was time to maybe get an upgraded version of it. So, we have the Remedy 9.8, which has been heavily modified. So, you know, there's a reason. I have a plan for both bikes. Originally, the 8 was going to be more of a goo bike, uh, nasty days. But after doing a little bit of research, I think what the uh, intention of this is going to be is we're going to add more travel to the rear end, more travel to the front end, and build this sucker up to be a park bike where the Remedy 98 is gonna stay light, it's gonna stay carbony, gonna be the pedal all day and still have a party on the bike bike, which we've already done. I mean, I've already done a 23 mile, uh, I think we did over 3K of climbing on it. Perfectly fine for that. So we're gonna do a quick overview of how I've got these built up and uh, you can check them out.
full disclosure, I do work part-time at a bike shop, obviously a Trek dealer. It's the only way I could afford to do this. I also work IT as a regular job, but you know, I'm not some super baller. It's how I can afford all these bikes. It's because you know I work at a Trek shop. Uh, so anyway, Thank you for watching. I hope you found this at least, you know, mildly entertaining. And, uh, you know, we'll see you for the next one. I do have some plans for the channel coming up. May or may not include e-bike testing. I know, controversial, controversial. Come on. But uh, thanks for watching today. And uh, I hope you make it through this quarantine well. It's, it's going to be hard on all of us, but we'll get... Full disclosure, I do work part-time at a bike shop, obviously a Trek shop, and I work full-time doing IT work. So this is how I can do this, in case you're wondering. I'm not some super baller. If it wasn't for the discounts that they give us, there's no way. Fucking hell. <laughs>